All right, everybody, time to rock and roll. Tempo, tempo, tempo. The first tempo of the training block leading into Amsterdam. We are five weeks out. Amazing, so excited. And I must say, seeing the buzz around Berlin and soon to be Chicago is getting me going for Amsterdam as well a little bit. Uh, so anyway, first tempo of the block. Haven't, I will have not uh, gone this fast for this long since the Cleveland Marathon training block. So we're gonna, I have a range of, as far as the times I wanna hit today, but the key is to go by feel. I wanna feel relaxed, I wanna feel smooth, I wanna feel loosey-goosey, I want it, frankly, to feel controlled and easy, quote unquote easy, um, so that I, I don't want to feel like I'm pressing is, is what I'm getting at. Uh, and because I believe in a marathon, if you're pressing, you're either going too fast or, um, you might just not have the fitness. Yeah. You, 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 your fitness might not be at the level that you had originally hoped to have it at, if that makes sense. So anyway, and for those that know Denver, I'm running on the Highline Canal today. I would love to go on pavement. Uh, especially since I'm getting ready for a road marathon, but I gotta make smart decisions. I can't be on pavement. I, that's what happened last time, and I, got, I had an injury in my, in my left foot, you know, a stress reaction. So I need to stay on dirt as much as possible, even though dirt slows you down, but that's okay. I'm hoping that the challenge of running on dirt through these tempos and threshold runs will basically set me up for success when I'm on pavement and my legs are like, oh, hello, let's let's rock and roll on this pavement. So I am going on dirt. It's very buffed out. Um, it's not a dirt road by any means. So it's it's a little a little loosey goosey dirt, but it should be good. And yes, we're going to take out the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebels. OK. All right, I'm gonna bring the GoPro up to the start just to show you the dirt and the setting of where I'm doing this. Uh, yeah, all right. Woo, it's getting warm. So here is the Highline Canal, and you can see the, see the dirt here. It's, um, you know, it's not a hard packed road. So, it's a, you know, it's a little loose, but uh, this is probably where I'm gonna be doing my tempos and threshold runs leading into Amsterdam again, just to stay healthy. So, um, and it's kind of shaded by these trees here. So it's really, it's, it's spot on. All right, I'm gonna set the camera down. I'm not gonna carry it. I gotta focus, get the, get the legs moving. Time to get those legs moving, everybody. Five weeks to go. See you at the house. And we're back at the house giving it a shot. Univet Elite Recovery Mix, all right? Uh, endurance fuel, four to one carbohydrate to protein ratio, 10 grams of organic pea protein isolate, um, 610 milligrams of electrolytes. So let's give it a shot here. This is the creamy vanilla flavor hello 220 calories let's uh let, ooh, whoops, sorry about that let's see how this tastes here in my big weston brewing they said mix it with 16 to 18 ounces so i think this is about right wow looks pretty thick here we go all right uh, da, 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 i feel good do, 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 do. 
I knew that I would. Do, 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 do. So good. Whoa. So good. All right. Now I got to mix it. Hold on. Cold water. I like that a lot. Wow. Creamy vanilla. It also has 100 um, MCG of vitamin K27 for muscle cramp prevention and cardiorespiratory fitness uh, and 25 MCG 1000 IU of vitamin D3 for a prevention of injury and bone health support. You know how I like that. All right, here goes nothing. It smells really good. Oh yeah, oh that's good. Oh, oh that's good. Not too sweet, I like that. Um, I don't like over sweet, you know me. I don't like candy, I just like dark chocolate. Oh that's good, I like it. It's, it's spot on. You know what it'd be good with is mixing in like a shake with a banana. Oh yeah. Whoa, good throw. Boom! Oh, what do I do? Oh, you guys are actually playing football? Yeah! I thought we were playing pass. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, oh! Is he okay? Yeah. I'm a bear. I'm on your team. Boom! No, oh, no. he's my teammate. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. All right, everyone. Halftime break is over with the Broncos and Bears. Time to go recover. Time to go recover. Oh, what are you going? Stretch? <laughs> oh. I'm stretching, monkey. I'm stretching. All right, everyone. Well, my Broncos, they're struggling. They're struggling. I don't know what to say. They lost in there, but... At least my legs are winning because I spent the most of the third quarter stretching out, rolling out with the boys inside the house. So that feels good, but oh, my Broncos, what are you going to do? Ah, oh, it's spilt milk under the bridge. Okay, key word for this vlog is tempo because this is the first, today's run was the first tempo run of the Amsterdam Marathon training block and the first tempo run since before Cleveland. So I'm we're talking four or five months. So it feels good and thank you. I mean, I think a lot, of, well, not a lot. I think many folks out there, at least on Strava, I was noticing were a little concerned about all the mountain running and wondering when I was gonna start to go a little bit faster. Well, now is the time, five weeks to go, okay? And uh, I think our timing is pretty spot on. Um, and uh, okay, I'm gonna give a tip of the day right now. You know how I run by feel. Uh, even though my wristwatch in my uh, Polar Vantage 5 is giving me a ton of data. If you want to uh, teach yourself how to run by feel rather than by data and just listening to all of the sensory data in your body, your breathing, your muscle fatigue, your brain, like your focus, your brain focus, everything, um, don't look at your watch. This is the tip. Don't look at your watch at least the first 10 minutes of the run. Just listen to your body, okay? And that's what I did in high school, all through college at the University of Colorado. We didn't have GPS watches existed, but they were very expensive. Nobody owned one on the team. We're talking like 2004 to 2008 approximately. And uh, so uh, now I don't, uh, I, I, I'm enjoying the watch and the GPS watch, but at the end of the day, I like to listen to my breathing first. And so today's goal, I knew six minute pace was gonna feel quote unquote easy. Um, so, but I didn't wanna lock into six minute pace. I wanted to go by feel. And so at about 10 minutes, about a mile and a half, two miles, I glanced down and sure enough, I was at like 540 pace, 535 pace even. And I was like, okay, this feels controlled. And I would remember I said that before, I wanna feel controlled, uh, relaxed and not tensed up and just fluid just feeling it out, feeling it out. And sure enough, 13 miles later, so today's run, 13 miles, 21K, 545 per mile for the average, or 335 per kilometer. 
I'm excited. This is good. And if you want to hop on Strava, you can go see my heart rate. Again, I honestly don't even know what that means. Like, uh, you can go look at it. I mean, okay. Somebody pointed out, it was between 150 and 160 the entire time. And I, but I, I have no clue what that even means because I've never run and trained by heart rate. But at the end of the day, based on how I felt and how frankly controlled it felt, I'm excited for what is in the future in Amsterdam at sea level, if you know what I mean. And now remember, if you're interested in my specific workouts and my specific training, I'm gonna be posting all of my training down below every single vlog moving forward in the description, but with a big asterisk. And sure enough, last week, I, it was the first week I did this, um, I, I, I basically had to switch up four of the seven days First of all, because my legs were still pretty sore from the race in Utah, and I just didn't expect the uh, DOMS to linger as long as it did, and because it, it really wasn't totally gone until Thursday. So anyway, but I'm gonna do better this week. Uh, so down below, Monday through Sunday, if you wanna see my workouts, and I'll just say right now, this upcoming week of training, which will put us at the end of the week with four weeks to go, um, it's gonna be the hardest week of training Basically, basically of 2019. Uh, maybe during the Cleveland Marathon block, I, I did some similar volume. So it's going to be high volume, high, pretty high vertical gain. Okay, so we're probably going to hit about 10,000 feet of vertical gain. And then, um, and then high intensity as well. So this is a big, big week of training. And all the details are down below in the description. All right, so um, come journey with me. We're gonna, we're gonna keep fighting. We're not done getting fit. And uh, the goal again is to be as fit as possible, as fresh as possible, and as healthy as possible at the starting line in Amsterdam. All right, everybody, I think that's it. I know I could talk more about the shoes today or about the workout, but I'm gonna keep try and keep this a little shorter tonight. I just appreciate you being here as always and five weeks to go, five weeks to go. That's all I gotta say. So, um, oh yeah, question of the day. How, you know, I like to ask this on the weekends. I, I know I'm asking it quite a bit, but every single weekend is a new racing weekend, right? So how was your race this weekend? If you raced, what distance, where was it? How did you do? How did you feel? Let us know down in the comments or how was your long run, okay? Because I know a lot of people get their long runs in on the weekend. So how was your long run? What did you hit your goal time? let us know. And for a couple old vlogs, I'm going to throw you back to the 1000th vlog. That's right. It's kind of a, a reflection vlog to show you where we've been on this channel over the past three and a half years. So that'll be on the left. And then on the right, we're going to go to the last tempo run that I did in the uh, Cleveland Marathon training vlog. All right. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.